मेडिकल उपकरण विदेश से ही आते हैं इस स्थिति को भी बदलना है क्योंकि ये भी महले महंगे इलाज का एक बहुत बड़ा कारण है और इसलिए मैं स्टार्टअप की दुनिया को हमारी नई पीढ़ी को आवाहन करता हूं कि जैसे एक डॉक्टर्स का साथ सेवा शब्द जुड़ जाता है मैं मानता हूं स्टार्टअप के क्षेत्र में मेडिकल डिवाइस में रिसर्च हो मेडिकल डिवाइस के मैन्युफैक्चरिंग की दिशा में काम हो सस्ते आधुनिक नए मेडिकल डिवाइस उस दिशा में हमारे देश में कैसे काम हो स्टार्टअप्स कैसे आगे आए उस पर भी हम बल देना चाहते हैं With the recent advent of the COVID-19 outbreak, there has been a huge influx of resources into medical technology and the healthcare system. The world is ready for a new medical revolution. So where does India stand in all of this? Where has it been historically, and where is it now, contemporarily? We hear one of the experts of the Wharton School of Management as he discusses the Indian healthcare system, using the research they have been doing. on this subject matter throughout the past decade what we call the three p's of healthcare the providers of healthcare the payers for healthcare and the producers of healthcare products and we've you know we loosely tie all that together as the healthcare value chain of india payers producers and providers then india has the same set of concerns that we have when it comes to healthcare we call it here the iron triangle of healthcare the three the three angles of that iron triangle are cost quality and access india is concerned about all three at the same time they see a rising cost to healthcare as healthcare moves from the public to the private sector and more technology begins to filter in and as you have more of a private sector providing healthcare uh we also have access problems because there's a low level of insurance coverage in that country and people have to pay an enormous amount of the healthcare bill out of pocket and then quality is the you know the frontier for india Now let's ask what is Cbiot and what is it that we do The Center for Innovation and Biodesign is an initiative of the Indian Council of Medical Research established at the Post Graduate Institute of Medical Education and Research in Chandigarh a unique healthcare innovation hub and startup incubator aimed at promoting research innovation and entrepreneurship in affordable healthcare system by offering a structured academic intellectual and material support for innovators and researchers in the field of biomedical devices instruments medicine pharma biotechnology from across the country cbiot aims at promoting disrupting innovation for a scalable healthcare delivery system to counter the escalation of costs of healthcare delivery in the country cbiot also promotes the application of advanced techniques in making the healthcare delivery system more robust accessible and sustainable to counter the impact of covid and covid like pandemics by availing the best minds as mentors in medical research to global partnership now let's discuss the contributions cbiod has made to the medical healthcare technology systems in just the past 2 years Cbiot aims at developing solutions and technologies that are both affordable and innovative and attuned to address the problems of the common man. One such invention is the Namo Gamcha, which is a kind of an intelligent bioscarf which allows the user to breathe clean and sterilized air and also allows others to remain safe around a potentially infected person. We have also developed a portable currency sanitizing wallet device called Senzi that sanitizes banknotes and hard currencies from microorganisms and diseases this tool is especially useful in third world countries 
or countries in which e-currency has still not replaced hard currency. We have also developed the Cardboard Disinfectant, which is a device that enables to sanitize things on the go as it gets power from the user's vehicle. An offshoot of this idea is called the Rakshak Disinfection Tunnel, which is the same principle but to disinfect humans. We have also developed eOPD, which is a smart paperless OPD system for hospitals and hospital management designed to simplify the lives of patients and their families, especially at the time of emergencies and crisis. CBIAD has also has a hand in developing G1, an automatic ambu bag that allows paramedics and EMTs to help ease the respiratory problems of emergency patients and patients in ambulances using volumetric flow and breath control in an affordable and effective manner. CBIAD has also made Arogya Sahayak, a kind of next generation robotic cart come nursing system that aims at the betterment and hygienic maintenance and management of infected patients without putting the lives of healthcare workers at stake. This will help optimize services of healthcare workers and also allow patients to better care. CBIAD has also made Aroge Prahari, which is an intelligent predictive management system that does data analysis of patients in order to track their progress and the treatment that they have been prescribed to, leveraging the role of data in order to give better healthcare to patients. We are also focusing on intelligent patient care called iBED. It is a kind of a bioinformatics device that serves the purpose which when connected to mattress of a patient allows to record the vitals of the patient without directly being linked with him or her. This means a holistic bioinformation device that is more hygienic and easy to install on newer patients. CBIAD has also developed eStethoscope which is a wireless stethoscope with various sensors designed for patients who are far away from the doctor and medical staff and can't be present at the moment. This technology increases the role of telemedicine. CBIAD is now working in collaboration with Sri Venkateshwar Medicare on various products including the Telemaster and the Tele Little Master, which are telehealth kiosks which enable patients in remote regions to get their diagnostics tests done using various tools and sensors. The reports of these tests are then shared to doctors and specialists residing in Tier 1 and Tier 2 cities using telemedicine so as to give quality healthcare and treatment at no extra cost to the patients. This was an informative video about the revolution in the Indian medical system and in particular about CBIAD. And now, we CBIAD are inviting you to come join us for a live event called Tech for Seva, which is happening from 20th to 23rd October and it will be the second consecutive year that we are holding this virtual summit. We invite doctors, researchers, scientists, medical professionals, or if you're into business, or if you're into investments, or if you help draft and execute government policies. And we encourage you to come and join us for this live event where we will be talking about four themes affordable healthcare, Atmanirbhar Bharat, economy friendly businesses and technologies, and technology for good agricultural practices. Log your calendars and do join us on 20th October at the Tech for Seva event.